Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and this is an important announcement video that I'm putting out to all of you. I've been alluding to something big over the past couple of weeks, if you've been watching me on YouTube and or Twitch, saying things like, you know, I've got a big announcement coming, or, you know, 2023 may not be the recovery year that I thought it was going to be. But uh, yeah, I'm ready to talk about some of those details and let you know what I have going on. If it means anything for YouTube or Twitch, TLDR doesn't really mean all that much, but it might mean a slight disruption for a period of time. And also what I've got plans for, I suppose, after that and just kind of, uh, you know, get us all on the same page with what I got going on. So let's talk about it. So some of you may know that several years ago, I moved out to California to be with my long distance girlfriend. You know, we had been long distance for a few years and we all know how well that usually works out. So I moved out here and, you know, we've been together ever since. However, her and I had a, a discussion a few weeks ago and we agreed that, you know, given the way that we are going in our lives, that we should probably go our separate ways. It was amicable, it was an adult conversation, there's no bad blood there, but what it does mean is that when our lease is up in the current apartment, we are going our separate ways. So I've been in the process of moving. Now I say I've been in the process, and you might be thinking I've been like apartment hunting or whatnot. Um, I actually already have a new apartment, I already have everything set up, I have the space, and I've already started moving stuff into it. And that's kind of the reason why I wanted to make the video now, even though this, like the full move won't be till like closer to May, because the stuff behind me is gonna start disappearing. In fact, the stuff behind me has already started to, wait, Aloha's in the corner. <laughs> I guess he's taking advantage of some of the stuff that's already been moved because, yeah, there he is just chilling in the corner behind that cat scratch tower. But I figured, you know, you guys are going to start seeing stuff disappear behind me anyway. So I might as well make a video letting you know that yeah, I'm in the process of moving. I'm going to take all that stuff on the shelves, put it in the new space. And then once I get to the new space, I'll worry about, you know, shelf space and storage and all of that. But it's just I, I'm someone who basically I, I render a video and then I start moving stuff or I start like packing stuff and whatnot. And that's just, you know, what my days have been on top of YouTube and Twitch over the past week or two and what it's likely going to look like. So I just uh, wanted to get you on the in on that. Now, before we go into talking about more YouTube, Twitch stuff, you know, my scheduling for the next several months, I do want to take some time to appreciate my girlfriend. Um, she has been a really big guiding light for me throughout my YouTube and Twitch career, especially in the early days. If you were around back then, you may remember a more rambunctious, a much more arrogant and egotistical version of me. And she was a big reason why I was able to mature in the first place. You know, I, I just kind of always had that energy, you know, that Jersey energy, as I like to call it. You know, that's just the people I I was surrounded with and the energy I was surrounded with my whole life. And I carried that into streaming and it just, it wasn't healthy. You know, I, I didn't really know how to be level headed. I didn't know how to be an adult, I think is, is the right way to put it. And over the years, you know, she's, she's really been a, a backbone and a support for all of that. So I owe a lot of my growth, not just to the channel, which she was always trying to encourage and maintain, but to my own personal growth. I owe a lot of it to her. And I think I'd be a much worse person nowadays without her. Now, that doesn't, you know, just because we agreed to go separately amicably, it doesn't necessarily mean it's an easy thing. You know, I am going to be living on my own now. And, you know, it's, it's just going to be an adjustment period for me. But I'm just glad that it can end on good terms, you know, not something with malice or any bad blood or anything like that. This is this is the preferable way that things could have gone. Now, onto the topic of YouTube and Twitch. So as you all know, I tend to go on tirades with YouTube when it comes to like, oh, I'm releasing a ton of stuff and I'm releasing nothing because I go like in between motivation phases. Um, but right now in preparation for the move, I'm actually making a lot of moves on YouTube to kind of set it up so I have the ability to, I guess, tackle the move in the way that works best for me. What I've been doing is I've been recording a video, then rendering a video, and while I'm rendering the video, I'll pack some stuff up or move it over to the new place, or I'll you know work on something else that maybe is like a longer render or a longer edit. And it's why things like the retro views, where you know I spend like an hour going through all the old skills, or you know the weekly Q and A's or Stay the Realms, you know all of those things, like when I have to go back and render them, become open time for me to do those things, so I don't have to take time away from YouTube. And because of that, my schedule is getting to a point where I'm actually super far ahead upload wise, and that's going to free up time for me to do additional uploads or uh, work on other stuff or stream 
extra or whatever it is I feel like I need to do to help me with this move because, you know, obviously it's going to be quite costly. So I'm trying to be, in my mind, effective about it. You know, keep the regular YouTube uploads, keep the regular Twitch streams, do some extra things here and again. A sponsored bit, maybe an ad at the start of a video or do like a sponsored stream over on Twitch or whatever it is. And I, I'm making sure that I'm more structured than ever because it allows me to more clearly think about things uh, separately, I suppose, with the, the time that I have. So what I'm saying is there will probably be some disruption at some point around late April or early May, when, especially on the Twitch side, because, you know, I, I got to move my actual setup from one location to another location and get the Internet set up in the new location. So, you know, obviously that's going to come with just a little bit of disruption, but probably not that much overall. My only ask is that you enjoy the content that I'm releasing in that time. Uh, I'm glad people have been enjoying the retro style stuff. You know, I've got stuff on Final Fantasy as a whole coming up. I've got some more Final Fantasy 14 stuff, and I'm also planning on probably doing some Octopath related stuff as well. I'm just, I've got a lot of plans, and I'm trying to make sure that I'm really proactive and busy about uh, all this stuff. Now, as for the new apartment, I am planning on doing, I guess, an apartment warming stream kind of thing where I'm going to be doing stuff in the kitchen and doing stuff at my station and just kind of just, uh, I guess, it's going to be an acknowledgement of being in the new space and I'm just going to do a little bit more with it. Uh, there are a lot of things that I'm going to need to buy for the <laughs> new apartment because uh, a lot of the stuff that we have, you know, Mel and I, we each have belongings that we've agreed to, you know, go different ways with and some of those things I'm definitely going to want to replace, you know, with whether it be even just simple things like the storage units. Like she's really organized. So she has like storage units for stuff and I've gotten really used to those, even though normally I am such an unorganized person. Uh, so like I'm going to be trying to replace a lot of stuff. Um, I'll probably do like an Amazon wish list. Maybe I'll even have it by the time I post this video or something. But it, the idea is, is that um, the things are going to be pretty barren over there for a little bit. So don't be too surprised if you tune in and you see stuff and you're like, where is everything? And it's like, well, I have my belongings and I have a few things but like I'm, I'm not too crazy I don't, I don't buy a lot of stuff I don't buy a lot of like the big stuff like the I, I call it the human stuff I always said that if I lived on my own or like you know my first apartment what it would have been otherwise I would have lived in like a 300 square foot space with like a bed and a computer and that would have been perfectly okay with me I'm not doing that this time but I'm just you know I'm just kind of preambling how it's gonna be but uh yeah um it's the next chapter and you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not really scared or concerned, but uh, I don't know what it's going to look like. All I know is, is that like I've always done before here on YouTube, over on Twitch, I'm going to continue to do my best to, well, do what I've always done to make YouTube videos that you like and to stream games that you like and to provide fun and entertaining broadcasts for all of you. And hopefully you'll be as much along for the ride before as, as uh, you, oh, you're, you will be along for the ride as much as you were before. There it is. I think that's proper English, I suppose. But with that, I think that's everything I needed to cover here. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to throw them in the comment section of the video below, and I'll see if I can get around to answering them. But otherwise, just be on the lookout for all the usual uploads. Uh, I've got plenty of them. I'm way ahead of schedule, like I said. So just like, favorite, subscribe, share, all those. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, take care.